Hello everybody, once again this is Dash with another informational gift. Today's gift is about procoptodons and raising babies. So what most people don't know is that if you've got a male and a female procoptodon, you can receive double the imprint affinity. Meaning if a dino would normally give you 25% per imprint, you will now get 100% or 50% per imprint. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to take our dinosaur that wants an imprint and we're going to cryo it. We're going to uncryo it and cryo it until it wants a cuddle. Nope, it wants simple kibble. This right here, this is something that can take a little bit of time, but it is 100% worth it. You just recryo it until you get it to where it says it wants a cuddle. No more wasted time for walks. No more wasted resources for kibbles. Use all your kibble for taming. You know, sometimes if I have the berries on hand, I'll do it okay for a berry, but no prime jerky, no nothing. I usually only ever do cuddles for my dinosaurs that I'm raising. So how it's done is you need a male and a female procoptodon, kangaroo, procoptodon, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and the female has to be within mate boost range of the male. I'll show you how to tell that here in a second. Okay, this one finally wants a cuddle. Now this does not work for all dinos, and it doesn't work for all dinos throughout the entire maturation. It's only up to a certain size for certain dinos. Shinehorns, you're able to imprint them 100% in the pouch. If the dino is able to go into the pouch as an adult, you're good to go. But certain dinos, like the Therizinosaurus, are only able to be for certain of them. Okay, so right here we have our male Procoptodon. He's named Blue Roo, even though he's not really blue. Then we have our female, Nanny Roo 10. So I was about to explain that. Right there, in the center of the screen, you can see her heart symbol. It also has the trough symbol. That right there is how you tell that she's in mate boost range of the male. So you go up to your dino. You don't even have to ride it. If you can bring it over, you can hold E, pick up, and then right there is the dinosaur that you're going to be putting in. Alternatively, you can go up to the dinosaur and hit C. It will scoop it into the pouch, right? So right here, this is our theory. Its name is Baby XAA05. Right above that, it's got the bottle symbol, and then above the bottle symbol is the pacifier. This bottle symbol is what you need to have when you're doing the imprints. So right there, it gets a 14% imprint affinity, even though it's only 7% raised. So doing this allows you to get a little bit of leeway when you're raising dinos. It does, doesn't work for gigas. Gigas are too big. Otherwise, that would be absolutely amazing. So you just take this, and then you come over here, and you go to the next one. Cryo it up until it wants a, a cuddle. Or, in this instance, a mijo berry. There we go. That one wants a cuddle. Same thing as before. Go up to it, you hit C, make sure it's got that bottle icon, and you can imprint it in the pouch. Now, with dinos like Theries, sometimes you can get away with just popping them out like I did, but most of the time, most of the time, they'll get stuck on the Procoptodon. It's really easy, all you got to do is jump to get out of it. Oh, I didn't make... See, right there. Procoptodon is stuck right now. You just jump and hold your backwards key so that way you don't jump all the way across your base. So yes, this is this is all you have to do. And it, it, it gives you a tremendous amount of leeway when you're raising dinos, especially ones that you want to imprint. Um, what I would suggest doing is, for yourself, go ahead and like make a Google Docs sheet uh, telling you what dinos are able to fit in the pouch up till what percent maturity. Almost got away. 
And I'm not wearing my tech boots. Yeah, this right here is a lot of breeders use. Yeah, like this guy wants cooked, or a girl rather. This girl wants cooked prime meat. She's not getting cooked prime meat. She's going to get tossed back out until she wants a cuddle. Like right there. But this right here is another thing. Especially if you have babies. What you do is you, you need to make sure that you put the food back on them. Because everybody's killed a baby from forgetting to put food back on it after you're imprinting it. Don't let that happen more, more than is necessary to you. Always make sure you put your food back on your uh, your baby when you're done imprinting. And just like that, all of those Therizinosauruses, they just got double imprint affinity. They are only 7% mature and they are 14% imprinted. That gives us an 8 our buffer for being a little bit late for your imprints along with the natural buffer that they already have but that is huge that is significantly more time than you could ever have just by basically raising a dino so once again you need a male and a female roo you need to put the baby in the female kangaroo's pouch and you need to make sure that that baby has the bottle icon, not the pacifier, not the saying, hey, I need care, the bottle icon. And then once you have that, you know that your dino will receive double the imprint affinity. Hope everybody got what they needed out of this video. I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Once again, subscribe if you want more information when I drop new videos. Keep on surviving.